Welcome to the all new Sports Visions on Bounce TV and to our worldwide viewers on www.sportsvisionsusa.com. Hello, everybody. I'm DJ Jones, joined by my good friend and traveling partner, Dale Williams. How are you, sir? What's up, player? Man, I tell you what, we're in a high school gymnasium, <laughs> and you know when we are in a gym this time of year, something's good is going on. Something good is going on. March Madness, DJ, and it's nothing like the intensity of a high school basketball game. Absolutely. It's round three for the Georgia High School State, of course, playoffs. And I know that the George Washington Carver Tigers. Boys and girls teams are both uh, in the tournament and still in tournament play. We're at the actual girls game, and of course, uh, it's a lot of electricity in the gym. But I tell you what, we're going to have an opportunity in just a little bit to talk a little bit more about not only this game, but some of the upcoming conference championships as, as far as college as well as the NBA. We're all about the women basketball this weekend, DJ, from the ACC to the SEC to the Peach Belt. And we can't forget about the combine. The NFL combine is going on. The official this is the official job. That's right. First interview. Interview. That's <laughs> right. All that coming up more in next on Sports Visions. It's time to save during the Nissan Year of the Truck and SUV event at Headquarter Nissan. Now, save $4,500 on new Rogue. Save $10,000 on all remaining 2016 Nissan Titan XDs. And get America's best truck warranty. Take on any job with Nissan trucks and SUVs from Headquarter Nissan. Yes, Columbus is a Nissan town. Now it's going to be a Titan town. $10,000 off 2016 Titan. Welcome back to Sports Vision, Dale. I tell you what, man, March Madness is upon us, and I know that uh, the SEC, the ACC, and all the schools all around the country, they are now playing for conference championships. Many of those teams trying to get to the NCAA tournament. <laughs> trying to get that, DJ. You know, most of the time when you win the whole conference, you get an automatic bid, but, you know, you really you got some great basketball. Let's start with the Columbus State. Columbus State is seeded number one in their division, DJ, and they'll be playing USC Aikens this weekend, and really, Columbus State has been the, th uh, the number one seed three years in a row, DJ, so I'm looking for some good things to happen for I'll them. i tell you what, both the Lady Cougars and the men, of course, a lot was not expected this year, but Coach Moore has seemed to play uh, this himself into an opp opportunity to uh, buy for a championship. <laughs> and again, we know Anita Howard, and we've had her on the show. They are the hottest thing going right now in the Peach Belt Conference. And you know what? A lot of people are thinking that they could very well not only bring back the Peach Belt Conference title, but they could contend for a national championship. They could do that. And really, with them being seeded number one in their division, they're playing, the, they're going to end up playing Landers. The repeat, they won, Landers won the conference last year. So I think there's going to be a rematch this year. And I think Columbus State's going to pull out. Absolutely. Now, of course, when you were talking about the Peach Belt, now let's talk about the SEC. I know when you talk about the SEC, you got schools like <laughs> Uh, Florida and That's of course right. South Carolina they're playing on the men's side Georgia is trying to play their way into this tournament they've had some impressive wins here lately they did DJ and really you know when you got South Carolina Don Scaley still got our girls playing they are the number one seed going in DJ you got Mississippi State number two so they really got it broke down where South Carolina will be playing Mississippi State but really you can't count out Georgia and it's always a Cinderella DJ. It's March Madness. It's going to be some buzzer beaters and you always got to have a Cinderella. Absolutely. But more importantly I know that the fact that uh, when we're talking about Columbus State and uh, what they mean to this region, what they mean to this city, what they mean to this town. You know, a lot of people are sleeping on Columbus State. But <laughs> okay. they've been playing some very good basketball and I know that I would be I would be definitely disappointed if they didn't at least bring home a Peach Belt Conference title. Well, I think really three years in a row they were number one and I think really they got this thing worked out DJ. Winning the Peach Belt will give them an automatic bid in the NCAA championship. All right. We'll be right back after this. I'm back swimming at the gym every week. Last month, I started playing tennis again. And four months ago, I went hiking for the first time. I struggled with knee pain for years. Just walking upstairs was difficult, but the St. Francis Orthopedic Institute was there from surgery through physical therapy, helping me get back to doing the things I love. Thanks, St. Francis. I'm back in motion again. Hi, I'm Grace Carswell. I almost lost my life in a car accident due to someone else's negligence. Fires v. Johnson and Associates held the insurance companies accountable and worked timelessly on my behalf to make sure I got the compensation I deserve. You can trust Fires v. Johnson and Associates. Results you can bank on. Call Forrest B. Johnson and Associates right now. 706-223-5380.
Welcome back to Sports Visions. It's now time for us to do our On the Wall segment. Of course, Dale, we love this because this is our time of year. That's the right. NFL Combine is what everybody's asking about. And you know, when you talk about the Combine, that is the official uh, <laughs> job interview, if That's you will, right. as far as the NFL is concerned. As far as the NFL is concerned, as far as a college player wanting to play and has aspirations for the NFL, this is the first interview. Really, you know, we just saw on Friday, you got the running backs worked out on Friday. Everybody was talking about Leonard Fournette and Devin Cook. They were going to do good. But then this Saturday, if you're not doing anything, go to NFL Network. And Saturday, you got the quarterbacks feature and the receivers, and everybody's talking about Deshaun Watson. Absolutely. Deshaun Watson, I know a lot of people early on were talking about he would not be in the, in the first round. And I know when you talk about quarterbacks and competition, there's nobody played any better in the last few years. You're talking about a young man that's won, that's played three years solid football and has beat the number one defense <laughs> football team two times in a row. Two years in a row. Last year they lost, of course, to Alabama, but this past year they won in the national championship game. But he has put up some big numbers against a very tough Alabama defense. I mean, really, just for the Alabama series in itself, DJ Deshaun Watson is going to get a great look. Everybody knows he has the two, but everybody said that he has great football sense and knowledge. And really, it really his actions have spoken in those big time national championship games. So I think really they're going to get a good look of the real deal of him. But really, for as the receivers are concerned, his Mike Williams, his guy, I think he's going to do good in the come down. And then you got the Alabama guy, O.J. Howard, that is going to look good. But really, Saturday is going to feature quarterbacks and receivers. And you got really the, the DBs are going to be the last year. But that's a great crop of guys. And really, everybody really need DBs. One thing is for sure at the combines, it's really a cattle dog gone call because, <laughs> you know, they get to touch them, they get to feel them, they get to measure them, they get to picture them. And of course, then they get to do their on the field things. But more importantly, their medical history, uh, yes. definitely no matter what they have on paper, they're going to have the opportunity to be um, observed and, of course, examined by the NFL doctors themselves. So if you had a bad knee or if you had, uh, it was a rumor that you had oh, a bad yeah. shoulder or whatever it was, the NFL people, this is their opportunity to find out what's wrong with you right now. Yeah, really, you're going to get picked and poked, DJ, and really they're probably going to have to take a day off after they come back from the combine because, again, all from head to toe, you're going to be checked out. Your background is going to be checked out. You know, everything that you have done in the last three, four years is going to be checked out. But really, I think it's a great opportunity for those guys, the sleepers. I always pull for the sleeper, DJ, because every year you're going to find a sleeper. Somebody's going to run a 4-2-3. Somebody's going to break that record. Somebody's going to lift 225, 35 times. So really, it's, it's a great day for football and just sitting there watching these guys compete and you know what they have at stake. It's really a great weekend. And just in case you hadn't heard, Adidas is going to do something that hadn't been done before. They're going to give away an island. Of course, you Holy. know they always reward the fastest 40. Whoever breaks Chris right. Johnson, 428, 40-yard dash. Right. The bottom line is Adidas is putting up, if you sign with them, that is, and, and you break Chris Johnson's record, they're going to give you an island. That's right. I mean, that's gonna, that's big, DJ. Keith Marshall won it last year, won 50000 Now you're giving them an island this year? Lord, have mercy. All right, we'll take a short break. This is Sports Vision. Hey, Steve, check out this guy's leg. Yeah, looks like a real nasty moving back in with his parents. What? No, I just broke my leg. No, this is a full-blown move into the basement. You're going to be out of work. Without that money from Aflac, you might miss your rent. Oh, I just moved out. Bummer, man. Hey, I used to have my own place. Yeah? <laughs> nah, I live with my mom. But it's cool. Health can change, but the life you love doesn't have to. Keep your lifestyle healthy with... Aflac! Live in the spotlight with Sports Life Entertainment. Enjoy our 25 passenger luxury party buses or corporate coaches. For more information, contact us at 770-989-1340. And remember, it's all about that sports life. Today, my dad walked me down the aisle. It seems like yesterday when he taught me how to drive. And just a few years later, he took me to college. But I remember the day my dad had a heart attack. And that almost changed everything. He needed open heart surgery. Lucky for us, we had the amazing doctors at the St. Francis Heart Hospital on our side. Because of their excellent care, He's here with me today. Thank you, St. Francis. And welcome back to Sports Visions. Now we come to the segment of our show as we call Where Are They Now? And we're joined by the legendary coach and athletic director, Mrs. Debbie Ball. Welcome to the show, Debbie. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Nice to be here. 
we'll get right into it. You know, over the years, you know, I've always uh, looked upon your career in Muskogee County in this area as being the dean and the first female athletic director ever in this town. But more so than anything, you know, I kind of grew up, uh, I guess when I think about you, I think about the girls' PE teacher with the onesies, you know, <laughs> okay. the, when they had the onesies. But I wanted to get you on the show. I want you to explain what is the state of women's sports at this point compared to when you were doing all this? Well, when I first came to Columbus, uh, there was not – as many sports as there are now. I think girls today have so many opportunities to go to college um, in sports because there's so many that are offered. Um, I think that uh, you see Division One schools coming in here today uh, recruiting girls, and whereas in the past it was just the boys that was were recognized. I, I think you see on recruiting days, you see more and more girls being uh, uh, receiving scholarships, and when you have the national signing day, you see a lot more girls signing than in the past. Um, I think our emphasis when I first came here was on the boys, but as girls have improved in their athletic ability, uh, they have better coaches than they've ever had. Uh, then I, I think that is due to uh, the growth of, of the girls' sports. Well, you know, we, we see that, and we've always recognized that each year we do a, um, a boys' high school football banquet. And every time, you know, it was successful and people would come back, well, when are you going to do something for the girls? So really we've started now. We have a female athlete of the year uh, banquet that we do, and this will be our second year doing it. And we recognize the fact that the girls are, we're, we're basically saying that the girls are a little bit ahead of the boys, of course, in academics. Uh, <laughs> but for us, just the skill level, softball, volleyball, track and field, golf, I mean, they're doing it all, and especially the soccer piece. What do you really attribute all that success, you know, for us, for us the girls being right now? I think that, well, we all know that girls are usually more studious than the majority of the guys. Yes, ma'am. And I think girls are more detail-oriented, so therefore, uh, it, when you coach a girl, and I've heard this from the male coaches as well as the female coaches, when you coach a girl, they listen to everything you say. Most of the time, they don't think they know it all already. And whereas guys started playing when they were four and five years old, these little girls today, they're starting to play younger. But uh, when I first started coaching, they weren't playing down there like the boys were. But I think it's due to the fact that girls are just more detail-oriented and um, they find ways to succeed. Okay. okay. I got it. Let's switch gears. As an athletic director, <clears throat> you pose a lot of challenges. I mean, you've had some problems with, you know, whether you have budgetary constraints or something. What do you, what do you, what is your feel on being an athletic director compared to back then to now? And why wouldn't a coach want to be an athletic director? Well, you know, I was the athletic director at Shaw for two years. And um, it wasn't my first opportunity to learn about that side because my husband, Bubba Ball, right. had been the athletic director there. And I saw a lot of the things that, that went into being the athletic director. Um, I think that... As the athletic director, as a coach, you only take care of your sport. As the athletic director, you have to look out for everyone. It was quite a challenge for me to be uh, an athletic director because it was a female going into a male <laughs> job. Right. And working, I had a great staff at Shaw, but working with males is uh, very difficult. I, I mean, there is a... a <laughs> there, you can say it. <laughs> you know, there is a, um, I think a lot of times males are threatened by the female. And um, even though you want the best for everybody, sometimes they don't allow you to give you the best because they there's some intimidation, I think. And um, the challenges that I met were, of course, uh, 
it was not the budget. Everyone was pretty much, uh, I tried to make sure everybody had what they needed. Now, everybody has a wish list in athletics. And uh, in the public schools, if you want that wish list, you usually had to fundraise. And uh, that was not a, you know, you ha even have to control the fundraising as the athletic director because you don't want one sport to have more than opportunities than the other. But um, what I noticed is that the school system had allowed the male sports facilities to be much better than the female sports facilities, especially on the outside, like softball versus baseball. And of course, I know it's because the parents in baseball were all in and they would help fundraise, and I realize that. But if you still go out to the schools here in Muscogee County, you will still see that the girls feels for sports when they are not the same feel that they are unequal. Wow. And uh, I think that's sad because if you go into uh, other counties in this school system, even the smaller counties, they have wonderful facilities. And not everywhere, but uh, we still have a, a long way to go in Muscogee County when it comes to facilities for girls and boys. Okay, last question. If anybody out there, viewing audience, have a little girl, tell them why they should be involved in athletics. Well, girls and boys who are involved in athletics, um, it gives them a place to be when they're in school. You can't just go to school and um, go to school. You've got to be involved somewhere else, whether it's band, whether it's chorus, whether it's athletics, to be happy and to network and connect with other kids in school. Girls need to be in, in athletics because of all the opportunities they have today. Plus, uh, it enables them to reach out to all these areas that maybe they wouldn't feel confident in, in reaching out because uh, athletics is an equalizer. And uh, you meet the people that are in the world today and in every culture. All right. There you have it from the legendary Debbie Ball. We'll be right back. Steve, check out this guy's leg. Yeah, looks like a real nasty moving back in with his parents. What? No, I just broke my leg. No, this is a full-blown move into the basement. You're going to be out of work. Without that money from Aflac, you might miss your rent. Oh, I just moved out. Bummer, man. Hey, I used to have my own place. Yeah? <laughs> nah, I live with my mom. But it's cool. Health can change, but the life you love doesn't have to. Keep your lifestyle healthy with Aflac. Live in the spotlight with Sports Life Entertainment. Enjoy our 25 passenger luxury party buses or corporate coaches. For more information, contact us at 770-989-1340. And remember, it's all about that sports life. Welcome back to today's final segment of Sports Visions. Dale, I tell you, what an exciting game. The George Washington Carver Lady Tigers, uh, of course, knocked off the Jefferson Lady Dragons. A hard-fought game, but big ups to uh, Mariah Ingus as well as uh, Janiah Love Hill. I mean, great game, DJ. Like I said, it's nothing like an intense, passionate 
game you know, that we play with the, these girls during this playoff time, man, it's, it's been great. Been great. I tell you what, uh, you know, they're cutting the lights down in the gym. Obviously, the victory is <laughs> That's much right. love felt. Of course, they're going on to the Final Four, which will be at Augusta University next Saturday, March the 4th. Of course, that'll be the day that the show will air. That's They'll right. be in Augusta playing in the Final Four. And I tell you what, uh, it's been a long time since the Carver Tiger Lady, Lady Tigers <laughs> Lady have had Tigers. an opportunity to go and advance to the Final Four in the state tournament. It's been a long time, DJ, but this is a good team. You can see them scratching and clawing to get back into the game. They got hot at the right time, so uh, they'll be all right. And I tell you, you know what, the good thing about it is that not only the Lady Tigers have an opportunity to go to Augusta, the men very well might be as well, the boys that is, the boys Carver Tigers playing St. Pius, of course, by the time this show aired, we, had, we didn't cover that game, but what a treat would it be for the Carver Tiger, the Tiger family, Tiger Nation, to take two teams to the state. That would be big, DJ. Uh, Glenwood has already done that this year, DJ. Well, why Carver can't do it? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Hey, you know what? We're 30 days away from spring, but Auburn has already started spring practice. Of already course, started Tuesday spring. of this week, they started it, man, and they're well into it. They're well into it, DJ, and really they'll be playing on the 8th, April 8th. So really, Gus just want to get his stuff in. Gus want to get it done. Very upset about last year. He's got a new quarterback coming in. So, uh, you know, he want to get a lot of work in, DJ. I know that uh, Kirby Smart <laughs> at the University of Georgia has had uh, some problems. Of course, Trenton Thompson, yeah. of course, the starting defensive lineman and also the most valuable player in the bowl game. He had to, of course, uh, take this quarter off. He's had some, some psychological problems, some medical problems. So uh, hopefully he'll be okay and be able to come back for the fall. That was going to be big for him to come back, DJ, because, again, he is the defensive line at this point. And, yes, I know it's a lot of highly recruited kids that come in to play defensive line, but Trent Thompson, he, d he did the thing last year. Absolutely. And a lot of folks are thinking the Fromm kid, the new recruit that's coming in, they're thinking right. that he's going to uh, give Easton some competition. And, yeah. again, I still have a hard time believing that this young man coming straight out of high school is going to have an opportunity to compete and legitimately compete for a starting job. Well, you know, I think he is, DJ. I, for some reason, I just got a feeling this guy is, might be the real deal, and we keep on saying he's the real deal, but you definitely know he doesn't lack confidence because he came anyway, even with Easton being there. And I think really Easton has a lot to do to improve, but I think this kid, he think he's really going to have a good chance of playing, so we'll see. One other thing, I know the NFL free agency is going on right now. You're getting down to these numbers where, you know, these, these folks have to commit or they have to let these players go. I know that there's a lot of folks out there that are wondering what's going to happen uh, with the Atlanta Falcons, but to be honest with you, most of the Falcons players are under contract. Right. I know Devontae Freeman, agent, came up during the Super Bowl week and, and uh, actually requested a new contract. However, it wasn't a great right time, but the Falcons are going to have to sign that young man. They're going to have to sign him, DJ, and I think really he'll get his money, but really one thing I have found out over the last two or three years, DJ, is that, you know, these owners they're, and GMs, are they're, they're not fooling around with that money, man. They're, you know, if they're going to pay you all this money, you're going to have to have a great upside because really Really, the day of just paying a guy all this big money, whether they're a free agent or a draft, and they don't pan out, that doesn't look good, and that can tear your whole your whole uh, organization up. Congratulations to Antonio Brown, the uh, of course the perennial All Pro with the Pittsburgh Steelers. He got the big contract. He got the four-year deal. He's got. 70 some odd million dollars so that puts him in the category with uh, Julio and of course all the great ones in the league. Well you know really DJ that the biggest thing that you're going to hear and we're going to hear on this all season is somebody outperforming their contract and I think Antonio Brown did that. Anytime somebody does that I think they deserve all the money that they can possibly get but really you want to you definitely want to be an impact to your team and you don't want all that money to get in the way of you performing. It's speculated that the Dallas Cowboys in the next week or so going to have to release Tony Romo and that's going to free up about five million dollars under the cap. I mean, that's going to be good, but you know, again, we've been talking about you got to get something for this guy because really I think I don't think he's going to stay on the team. I think if he, there's a deadline because if he stays past that deadline, they're going to owe him some more money. All right. As we close, once again, congratulations to all of the lo local teams that had a, a quest for a state title. Of course, the Columbus, uh, Carver Lady uh, Tigers, of course, are well into it. And again, uh, just a well-played game. We wish them much, much luck. Much success, and really they've had a great season thus far, and I think it'll be really good for both of those teams, Carver boys and Carver girls, to win the whole state. That will be big. All right. Well, that's going to do it for all the time we have for today's show. For Dale Williams, I'm DJ Jones reminding you to keep your eye on the ball. Have a great week. Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you.
Steve, check out this guy's leg. Yeah, looks like a real nasty moving back in with his parents. What? No, I just broke my leg. No, this is a full-blown move into the basement. You're gonna be out of work. Without that money from Aflac, you might miss your rent. Oh, I just moved out. Bummer, man. Hey, I used to have my own place. Yeah? <laughs> nah, I live with my mom. But it's cool. Health can change, but the life you love doesn't have to. Keep your lifestyle healthy with Aflac! Live in the spotlight with Sports Life Entertainment. Enjoy our 25 passenger luxury party buses or corporate coaches. For more information, contact us at 770-989-1340. And remember, it's all about that sports life. Today, my dad walked me down the aisle. It seems like yesterday when he taught me how to drive. And just a few years later, he took me to college. But I remember the day my dad had a heart attack, and that almost changed everything. He needed open heart surgery. Lucky for us, we had the amazing doctors at the St. Francis Heart Hospital on our side. Because of their excellent care, he's here with me today. Thank you, St. Francis. El chofer designado sigue reinando. Hey Steve, check out this guy's leg. Yeah, looks like a real nasty moving back in with his parents. What? No, I just broke my leg. No, this is a full blown move into the basement. You're gonna be out of work. Without that money from Aflac, you might miss your rent. Oh, I just moved out. Bummer, man. Hey, I used to have my own place. Yeah? <laughs> nah, I live with my mom. But it's cool. Health can change, but the life you love doesn't have to. Keep your lifestyle healthy with Aflac!